respected students welcome back everyone so you all know that i am going to start the playlist for microsoft exams and we are going to start with tl 300 100% ask question so i have given this exam four times first time and three times i have renewed this exam with more than 90% of score latest i got 96% uh, when i have renewed this year so from that four times or four years of experience what is there so i have extracted some of the questions which are 100% asked as it is those question will be asked in the uh, your microsoft exam okay so you just try to understand the question and uh, also memorize it see frankly speaking because as it is the questions are going to be asked so try to understand also because see for pl 300 even uh, you need little real time experience of real time projects and also practical experience of power bi desktop means whole power bi tool okay so at least two three reports you must have created end to end so you can give that exam properly and pass with a good score you need more than 70% of score when you are giving first time so let's start with the video but if you are new on our channel make sure you are subscribe and pressing bell icon for all upcoming videos and i am going to make total 5 videos for pl 300 and more than 50 plus questions which are 100% asked those uh, will be uploaded on our channel and follow us on social media especially instagram so we are starting with our first question theek okay? hai so you have a report that contains a bar chart and column chart ठीक है बार चार्ट शोज कस्टमर काउंट बाय कस्टमर सेगमेंट सी टू चार्ट आर देर बार चार्ट कॉलम चार्ट एंड बार चार्ट है काउंट ऑफ कस्टमर ऑन कस्टमर सेगमेंट एंड कॉलम चार्ट हैज टोटल सेल्स बाय मंथ सी दिस इज यू नीड टू ब्रेक डाउन द क्वेश्चन वेन यू आर गिविंग पी एल थ्री हंड्रेड यू नीड टू ब्रेक डाउन क्वेश्चन अंडरस्टैंड ओके यू नीड टू एंश्योर दैट वेन अ सेगमेंट इज सिलेक्टेड इन अ बार चार्ट ओके यू सी विच पोर्शन ऑफ टोटल सेल फॉर मंथ बिलोंग्स टू कस्टमर सेगमेंट Okay, so these are the three options. So now you know there is something known as edit interaction in Power BI Desktop, which has three options: highlight, filter, and no impact. No impact will do nothing. Okay, so highlight will do highlighting. So here, what it is saying, you see which portion of total cell for month belongs to customer segment. So in this case, option A will be the answer. Okay, highlight is the correct option. Edit interaction is there. Okay. uh that is uh, that option is used uh when it comes to highlighting filtering or no impact uh, you want on any visual uh, after filtration or after selection of any values in slicer so option for this is highlight same to same as it is this question will be asked four times i have given that exam from that i have extracted this question second question is you need to create a visualization that compares revenue over uh, revenue and cost uh, cost over time see one thing i will tell you about this exam is uh, keep some of the keywords in mind okay keywords i am saying like you say uh, over time so in this case which type of visualization definitely line chart will be there so i will also tell you some of the important keywords also from keywords how to extract the answer or with the process of elimination let's say for any question you don't know answer of any question so at least you can eliminate two options those are not there and from rest two options you can at least try to find out which one is correct so for from process of elimination from uh, some of the important keywords you can channelize or visualize or try to find out the correct answer for it so right now here with this over time keyword you can say that line chart line chart is used to compare between uh, business numbers over time only like on month year whatever it is third question is you need to build a report to help sales team understand its performance and driver of sales the team needs to have a single visualization visualization to visualization to identify which factor after affect success so let me tell you one more keyword here okay so whenever you are going to find like this factors affecting and all those things huh? make sure that key influencer is the only keyword used okay again i am repeating this thing uh, try to write down in your notebook when over time and all those things will be there then line chart will be the option for it 
and when uh, you will have these factors affecting and all those things it will be key influencer key influencer falls under one of the ai chart okay sorry ai visuals sorry ai visuals so when you are uh, checking on any factors of in all those things then key influencer is the option for that fourth is uh, you are creating a power bi report by using bi desktop you need to include a visual that shows trends and other useful information automatically three c so main keyword information automatically so in this case smart narrative is the perfect answer the visual must update based on selection in other visuals so how i have found this uh, answer when from this keyword what i have said you at the start first read the question all the lines properly okay so first line uh, we have read in second line when it was written here information automatically as soon as possible in real time also exam this smart narrative came uh, into my mind because see a smart narrative visual is in power bi automatically generates insights and summaries based on data in the report because it is one of the ai visual okay again i will re uh, repeat it smart narrative visual which is there in power bi it automatically generates insight and summaries or whatever uh, uh, visuals it make based on the data in the report okay it updates dynamically as users interact with other visuals okay also shows trends and useful information on data selection so smart narrative is the option for it let's go for the fifth question you are building a power bi report to analyze customer segment you need to identify customer segment dynamically based on bounce rate across um, dimensions such as uh, source geography and uh, demographics again the factors affecting are there factors are there like uh, source geography and uh, demographics so in this case uh, key influencer visual in power bi helps to identify the, these uh, factors these three factors okay um, that most affects a particular metric like bounce rate is there or whatever here right now bounce rate is there so okay and uh, it will dynamically analyze and rank these factors uh, making it easier to identify customer segment let's say so see in this case it is uh, key influencer is answer for it sixth question you have a power bi report that contains three pages page 1 to 3 okay so we are having three pages all pages have same slicers okay got it you need to ensure that filters applied to page 1 apply to 1 and 3 so see there is something known as sync slicer so you can sync the slicers between two three pages okay on filtering and all those things so in that case uh, this is the functionality of power bi if you are having same slicers filters on different pages and if you want to sync like on if on first page on customer id if you filter so on third page also on customer id it should automatically filter so sync slicer is the option for it so as per the requirement option c sync slicer is the answer for it you have a power bi tenant you have report that use financial data set and export as pdf files you need to ensure that the reports are encrypted okay in this case if you want encrypted report so sensitivity labels see this is the uh, option of uh, power bi service so from this um, you need to, you can ensure that the reports are completely encrypted okay with rls on any particular category or all those things you can do but for uh, this sensitivity labels is the option for it correct answer you need to provide a user with ability to add members to a workspace so okay so they are telling to uh, add members to our space for that you must be admin in ninth question in power bi desktop you are creating visualization in a report based on a imported data set you need to allow power bi users to export the summarized data used to create the visualization but prevent the users from exporting the underlying data okay so which one is the correct uh, option a from power bi desktop configure the data load setting for current file so see in this case uh, read second line properly you need to you need to allow power bi users to export the summarized data used to create the visualization but preventing the users from exporting the underlying data and uh, 
you are creating visualization in a report based on an import okay on report base so c is the correct answer for that because configure the report setting for current file okay this is the correct answer for it coming to last question you have a azure sql database that contains sales transaction the database is updated frequently you need to update it frequently okay so updated frequently means okay theek hai so let's say that pro has 30 minutes in import okay you need to generate reports from the data to detect fraudulent transaction the data must be visible within 5 minutes of an update so in this let's say that in this case you can't go for import mode uh um, because even if you have a premium account let's say 48 times it will give but 30 minutes gap will be there and all those things will be there and you need to update uh, frequently yeah the data must be visible within 5 minutes also and it should be updated frequently and all those things so in this case direct query is the best and let's say that if your data is also big or huge data is there send direct query is there also one more thing is there you can create lake house in microsoft fabric that is also there but in this case right now azure sql database is there then it might be uh, view might be we might be fetching from it let's say so direct query is the best because uh, if the data is huge and frequently if you need update so in that case you don't go with import mode you go with direct query okay so these were the top 10 questions of part 1 video i am going to come with more uh, 3 to 4 parts where 50 total 50 plus questions will be there again i am telling you guys understand the question uh, break down the question again use the process of elimination again use uh, some of the important keywords like if over time is there line chart factors affecting is there then uh, key influencer and automatically generation is there then in that case smart narrative theek okay? hai so try to memorize also question because as it is these questions are going to be asked in real time exam so if you have any kind of doubt make sure you are commenting within 1 hour i will reply you and if you are new on our channel uh, subscribe and press bell icon for all upcoming videos and follow us on social media especially instagram thank you everyone